has a much better sense of smell. Good evening, neighbors, trustees, and especially supervisors. I pay attention to our supervisor every year now, and regret that she does not pay as much attention to the people she is supposed to serve. Instead, she insists that she is about loving on the people while calling all those who criticize her haters wearing devil's horns. She stubbornly believes that she is still in control of the board meetings both here and at Dalton. She continues to campaign at our expense for another item in both governments when her constituents' biggest question is how come she is still in office. We have seven more months to endure before a new supervisor is inaugurated. So I asked the supervisor, using the words of Trustee Jones, is it too late for you to do the right thing for the people? The purpose of my comment this evening is to ask the supervisor to work with the trustees reasonably. Reason is the ability God gave humans to make us superior to the rest of the animals. Elephants and whales have a much better sense of hearing than a human. But it's ridiculous trying to ask an elephant or a whale about the best way to distribute 9 million tax dollars between 155,000 people. A dog has a much better sense of smell than a human, but if it poops inside your house, you don't expect the dog to apologize to you, nor do you expect the dog to respond to constructive criticism. By definition, an animal does not respond to reason. The only ways that humans can interact with them are to feed the animal, cut the animal, or give it a whack in the snout. This is my way of saying that the residents of Thornton Township can no longer afford the feeding and petting of the supervisor. Does the supervisor have an alternative to getting a whack in the snout? <laughs>
did something. You should have did something. Hey there, besties. Obviously, you've probably heard about what happened here at the Thornton Township meeting tonight. I'm not really sure what the end result was about. It seems as though Paul was speaking, our friend, Mr. Uh, Roberts. His wife is there in the crowd. There's Miss Mary right here. Uh, in the background, I do see uh, a couple of uh, Tiffany's ninjas. Uh, Otis back there, who's supposed to be doing something and ain't doing nothing, just there because he ain't got shit else to do. And he was talking about something about animals asking Tiff to resign, which we already know she ain't going to do the right thing. Then all of a sudden, some melee in, ensued and Dots was involved. And Mrs. Roberts, of course, is going to come to the rescue of her husband. And it just turned into a complete and utter ish show. And it sounds like the meeting was canceled. Shout out to everyone who alerted me to what was going on. If you can't tell, I'm uh, almost asleep, but <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to make this video to let you know it, it seems like Paul is okay. Some of the comments and, and messages that I'm getting is everyone is worried about Paul. Paul is seemingly okay. Mrs. Paul was on live trying to explain what was going on. I did not understand, honestly, what happened. Possibly, potentially, somebody said that they think that Paul is a racist, which is utter ridiculousness. Of all things, these things to get riled up about at this meeting, that's the last thing. But let me just say, like I've said before, yes, I'm going to reiterate, no one, I've said this, y'all know this, my regulars know this, I've said this, I said no one out there, meaning Pritzker, Kwame, Kim Fox, and anyone else is going to say anything until God forbid, until God forbid something happens that cannot be taken back and someone gets harmed. I'm going to just leave it as simple as that. Now, if this is not enough reason, because you know the media is there, from what I understand, y'all told me that the media is there. It's going to be on the 11 o'clock news or the 1 o'clock news, and it's going to look like an utter and complete issue, show, not, and not even knowing what else happened. From what I understand, um, Jerry Jones didn't show up, and that other lady that's always late or leaving early didn't show up. So I don't even know if they had any business to get done. Like, this is just... This is why I'm tired, okay? I am tired of this show. I am tired of this Thornton Township Dalton crap. I'm tired of the officials who are supposed to be in charge of the state not doing anything about it. I'm tired of Tiffany Henyard being the biatch that she is. I'm tired of all the henchmen and all of their antics and the fact that they're just allowed to run rampant down here like it ain't nobody's business. Now, I would like to say also, there's a bunch of women here. Where are the men? Like we know Paul is here. Like not Tiff, not Tiff's um, you know, not Tiff's um henchmen alleged. Where are all the men that should be supporting along with all these daggone women? Now that's not me trying to say that men should be coming for to the rescue. But if you take a look and you think back of everything that we've seen, there's really not a lot of men that are out here. It's a lot of women. That's why we know Miss Mary, Mama Hill uh mrs roberts um vivian uh the doctor woman all women all women all women what is going on where are the men of this community i mean i gotta be honest right now okay where are the men you're telling me there's no men in this community except for these idiots except for dots and and this one on the left and and uh, Terry Young, I think that's who that is, allegedly. Kamal, oh, just henchmen, just criminals. Those are the only men in the town besides Paul. L Otis ain't can't do nothing. Otis number one can't do shit. Heavy D's bigger brother is shit. Look, you got the you got Vivian with cancer. That's got to be at every single meeting. You know, being the protector. 
Like, what is going on right now? Where are the rest of the citizens in this GD town? I'm sick of it. I just want to, listen, I don't want nobody to get hurt. I never want anyone to get hurt. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know. I'm going to wait until the Lansing Journal's video is out because this video um, quality, as you can hear, is the same. It's crap. Um, unless I can find someone that has some uh, decent video. This is Jed. Shout out to Investigate and Advocate. No shade. No shade. We already know that the microphones aren't that great down there. So people's kids are here. Like, come on now. We got to do better. We got to figure something else out. This is not working. And I don't want anyone to get hurt at the end of the day. So Mr. and Mrs. Paul seem to be fine. I'm going to see if I can get in contact with them. I'll let y'all know. Because y'all got false narratives out there. And y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Superman. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail, jail. Gato. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Miss, come here. Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. Say that, folks. Don't you dumbass say it. 